Hi everyone, I wanted to show you really quickly how to adjust the construction of the poppy bodice so that you can have the bottom open so you can close the waist seam on either the romper or the dress, either one. Construction is the same. So first you're going to take your bodice lining and your side piece that's already sewn and you're going to line it up as if you're going to sew the side piece directly to the back of the lining. Then you're going to take a seam gauge and measure over a half inch and place a mark right at the top of that side piece. So once you have that mark, we're going to sew the half inch seam allowance. but you're gonna stop when you get to that um, little dot that you made. So you're gonna stop right there, back stitch, and take it out. So then you have this open here, and you're gonna take your side piece, open it up as well, and you're gonna line it up with main to main. Make sure that top piece is out of the way. And then you're gonna start with a half inch seam allowance right at that top seam. So I always just put my needle down so I make sure that I'm in the exact right spot. And then you're gonna sew your half inch seam allowance all the way down to the bottom. And then you're gonna grab your two lining pieces and do the same thing. Line them up, but you're gonna flip the whole thing over, make sure everything's out of the way. And you're gonna sew again with a half inch seam allowance up to that seam. And then you're gonna back stitch right there. And you're done. So then it's open, but completely sewn. So then what I do is go and um, trim this spot right here. So you're going to get your scissors and the easiest way to do it is fold it open like this. Take your scissors and cut right along that seam on both sides. So then when you turn it out, you can make your uh, front seam go or your main seam go one way and your lining seam go the other way so you don't have as much bulk. But now I'm going to sew the neckline. Half inch seam allowance. And then I take my pinking shears, trim away, and then you're going to do the same on the side, but you're going to stop right where you stopped that seam when you were sewing it down. Pull those others out of the way and snip right there. And then do the other, do the other side. Okay, so now it's ready to be turned out. If you have a ruffle, it's a lot easier because you can just grab your ruffle and pull it through, but I only have my faux piping. So it's going to take me a, another second. And I don't know why I'm not showing you the way that I normally do it, which is with the um, hemostat, I think it's called. I can never remember exactly what it's called, but I'll show you on the next one.
It's a medical tool that doctors use during surgery. But I just bought one at a hardware store. So it's this thing right here. So you just put it through, grab the end of the strap, make sure you don't have both sides in there, and then just pull it through. It's a lot faster that way. So then the bodice is done besides pressing. Obviously you still need to press, but when you open it up, because you've trimmed here, you can flip your lining one way and your mane is gonna go towards the center of the bodice because your ruffle or your piping, whatever you're using. And then it's all done and you're ready to finish constructing the rest. And um, you can refer to the website for instructions on how to finish up the waist seam. Hope this helps someone. Thanks.